So, welcome everybody to Breakfast with Sergio. Big episode. This is episode number 30. Super happy that you are here with me, joining me for the big 3-0. So what's for breakfast today? Well, today is sort of simple because I have a breakfast with a friend later on today. So instead of making myself breakfast, all I have is my green drink that I have every morning. And uh, today in this drink, you'll, uh, what I have here is uh, chia seeds. Uh, I have also spirulina. I have uh, wheatgrass and other, some other powder that my wife just got the other day. Just put it in here as well. And raw honey, a spoon of raw honey, mix it all in hot water, then add cool water to kind of make it easy to drink. And that's it, that's my morning drink for the last, I don't know, for the last five, six years, this is what I've been drinking every, every morning, you know, seven days a week, and it's just great. So that's my breakfast, at least right now, because again, I'm gonna have breakfast with a friend later on. The reason, the main reason this episode number 30 is so special for me, is because this month, April 2018, it is, is my 30th year anniversary of being in the United States. As some or many of you know, I grew up in Mexico and I grew up in Mexico City. I lived in Mexico City until 1998 when I was 16 and my folks and I, we came to, to Chicago area. And so that's been 30 years this month, 30 years ago, I came here as a youth, as a 16 year old, with no idea what future was going to be here for me. And I have, I have to say, I have to say it's been the greatest uh, ride of my life, being here for 30 years. I'm super thankful for all the friendships, all the opportunities, and all the things that have happened in these last 30 years. So today, I want to share with you the five top lessons I have learned in the last 30 years about uh, you know being an artist and about you know growing an art career. If I had to choose the top five lessons I have learned since I came to this country, uh, to the United States of America 20, I mean, 30 years ago. These are the top five things I can share with you and I'm gonna do that right now. So with no further delay, the top five things I have learned since I came to the United States on a cold day in April in 1988. Here we go. The number one, one of the biggest things I have uh, learned over the years is to be an executor of ideas. Be an executor of ideas. And here's what I want to say. Many people have many ideas. I All the time in openings, I, I meet with artists say, hey Sergio, I have this great idea and I have this great idea. Everybody has a great idea, but only a small fraction of people execute on that idea. And this is why, because when you ex become an executor, you are going to sometimes fear uh, 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 not fear, but you're going to uh, be exposed to criticism, to uh, also failure, possible failure, uh, possible you know things that might go wrong. Uh, because when you execute, you know you may fail. But here's the thing: you get up and you try again. You try again. So be an executor. A lot of these five that I'm talking about, they are almost like action verbs be an executor of ideas. Execution is really what makes the difference. You may have many ideas, but you have to execute. One day, you know, I had the idea of uh, opening a gallery and, and creating my own thing, and, and so I executed, and I made many mistakes along the way, but here I am, right? Uh, again, uh, other projects that I had in the past. One day I woke up in the morning and I told my wife, you know, I have this great idea to do a show to do an exhibition at the Garfield Park Conservatory, which is one of the largest uh, nature um, co uh, park conservatories in the country here in Chicago, the Garfield Park Conservatory. And I told my wife, you know, I have this idea, it's gonna be called uh, Chicago's 12, and I want to curate the show, and I wanna select 12 artists to work in the, in, create art inside the Garfield Park Conservatory. And that was the idea, and I executed, and in 2012, we had an amazing show with 12 amazing artists. So you have to become an executor. It's no use to just having great ideas if you are not willing to take the risk to execute. So that's number one, become an executor of ideas. Those, again, 30 years in the United States, that's one of the main lessons I have learned in these 30 years. The second one, number two. Uh, I should have done backward numbers, but hey, anyway, it doesn't matter. Number two is 
mentor your way up. And again, thanks everybody for sending the message. I love you know the messages. As soon as the video is over, I always go and, and answer it and, and uh, communicate with you as well. But number two, I wanna go to the second one right away, is mentor your way up. Mentors are so important in life. You know, since I came here to the United States, uh, when I was 16 years old, uh, it's all about mentors, you know, finding people that can mentor you. That could be, you know, somebody in your community. That could be somebody in your school, somebody in your church, somebody in your uh, in your proximity, in your closest uh, circle of friends or in the outer circle of friends. But mentors are super important. I always had mentors in my life. I still have mentors today that I meet with on a regular basis on various areas of my life in art. Uh, in my spiritual life, in my personal life, mentors have helped me a lot, you know, to, to get a clear perspective of life. That's what a mentor I, does. I think that a mentor is not a person who you ask a question and necessarily gives you an answer, but a good mentor is the person that you ask a question and they'll point you in the direction where you will find your own answer. And that's what a good mentor does. So my friend, uh, find mentors and mentor your way up to wherever you want to go. Third one. Third uh, big lesson that I have learned in these last 30 years of being in the United States is create your own path. Create your own path. You know, when I was in school and when I finished art school, you know, I wanted to curate and I wanted to be an artist at the same time. And I wanted to create projects and I wanted to design. And people all the time told me, but which one do you want to do? Big one. Do you want to be an artist or you want to be a curator? Do you want people to know you for your curator work? or for your artwork, you know, how do you want people to know you? And and I always said, well, if you come to my shows that I curate, you will know me as curator. If you come to my shows that I do as an artist, you will know me as an artist. Doesn't matter how you get to know me, that's just the entry point to really get to know who I am and what I do. So my friends, you know, create your own path. What makes sense for you is what is important. You don't have to be like the artist next door. You know, you don't have to follow the path that has always, the way that has all, things have always been done. I love being entrepreneurial. I love to start projects and start things and doing things. And that's who I am. That's my nature. So that's the type of path I create. I love as much going to the studio and making the art as much as I love and to the gallery and curate a show and work with artists and work with installers and uh, I, and and the marketing, I love the whole process of that. It's not just a job. It's not like, oh, that's my day job. And then I go in the studio and do my art. No, I see everything as my art career. That's what I do. So create the path that, that suits you. For some of you, it might be also education. So maybe you so are wonderful, amazing teachers. And that's part of your art career too. It's not just a day job but it's also something that you love to do and you see it as part as your art career. So create your own path for your art career. You, uh, you, know, you are the only one who can do that. Otherwise, everybody will tell you what you should do. So <laughs> that's number three. Number four, and we almost get to the, to the last of them. Uh, thanks everybody for awesome messages. I'm looking at some of them right now. Super cool. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, number four, again, the fourth, uh, lesson, most important lesson I've learned in the last 30 years of being here in the United States as it relates to my art career. Number four, at the end, I'm going to mention them all in case you just came and you missed some of them. Number four is be community, be community. Notice that I say be community, not be in a community. Big difference. You can be in a big community, but be community is such a different thing. It's about the action of being the community yourself, of interacting with your community, of engaging with your community, of being part of community. It's really hard to be an artist all by yourself. And I think we need to be community, uh, engage other people, embrace other people, doesn't matter how they look like, doesn't matter if you agree with them in the political realm, doesn't matter if you agree with them in other things, in other issues, what color of the skin they are is about being one in community. And when you are you know, part of that community, you all grow together. One of the things I've loved to do for the last 30 years is being part of a community and building community. That's one of my biggest passions. And it all started when I came here in 20, I mean, not in 20, 1988, when I was 16 year old, 
I started, you know, the idea of community in my church because my dad uh, is now a re is a retired pastor. That's why we came here to Chicago. And it all that community started in a small church of just a few people. That was my only community that I knew. Then I went to art school and then that, cre that became another larger community. And then I finished art school and I started the gallery with my friends. So that became a little community. Then we started the, the community inside the Job Yard Center and that became a larger family, which we worked together for the goal of building that community of the art center. Uh, after that, then when online, you know, kind of took off, then I saw an opportunity to create also an online community. And that's how the Art Next Level was born. And now, you know, Breakfast with Sergio to me is another community where we can have breakfast together uh, for just 10, 15 minutes, three days a week. And it builds community. And that's what it's all about, my friend. Be community, not just be part of a community, not just be a consumer of community, but be an active participant of community. And that's going to have huge impact in your art career, I promise it. And the last one, my friend, number five. Again, I'm going over the, the five biggest lessons I've learned um, for my art career in the last 30 years since I came to this country, to the United States, which I'm so thankful for. It's a grow relational capital, grow relational capital, grow relational capital, super important. Relational capital is just like networking, right? It's networking. It's about growing a network around you of people that you care uh, about or people that, that uh, are part of, uh, of what you do. If you're an artist, of all the artists, of curators or galleries of people who who uh, who understand who you know what you do collectors and so on or just people who are just fans of your art maybe they cannot afford it but they're still you know they're part of that community of that network so uh, create and uh, grow relational capital that's something that I've always done for from day one you know it's about relationships being authentic and, and growing and investing in relationships I'm saying relationships not on just likes on Facebook or just likes on Instagram, everybody can just click a button to, to say a like, but not everybody will take the time to send you a quick message or to send you a message, a thoughtful idea, a thoughtful message. That's what relational capital is all about. And when you invest on that, the results are amazing. And I can tell you that from my own experience. So my friends, those were the, the top five things I have learned in my art career from the last 30 years since I came to this country on an April of 1988 so it's been huge 30 years i'm very thankful for all of you i'm very thankful for spending time with me now for 30 episodes here in artist in um, breakfast with sergio i'm very thankful to this country for everything that has meant to me everything that has given me and all the amazing opportunities to build an art career and to build a community around what i love to do so very quickly just to wrap it up the five uh, top things is one uh, be an executor of ideas, execute, execute. If you don't execute, you know, you just ideas in your head. You have to become an executor and take risks. So become, be an executor of ideas. Number two, a mentor your way up. We all need mentors, find mentors. There's no shame in looking for help, in finding mentors for your life, for your career, coaches and, some, and things like that. Whatever it takes for you to grow and to avoid the mistakes that others have already made. And uh, number three, create your own path, create your own path, you know, create, design your idea of success. Otherwise, everybody's gonna come and tell you what success is all about, unless you define it for yourself. What are you going for? What are you looking at? What are you trying to build uh, on your own? Number four, be community. Not just be part of a community, but be community, be community, be active, engage, embrace, be community, give to the community. And number five is grow relational capital, right? Grow relational capital, invest, in the life of others, invest in creating relationship with other people, not just likes and followers. So those are the top five, my friends. Hope you enjoy them. I'm super excited. Look forward to another 30 amazing years here in the United States, if possible. Whatever many years or days God gives me, I will be so thankful for this opportunity to be here, to be with you, to be uh, in technology so we can connect and to continue growing uh, an amazing community around the things we love. Uh, and around this thing that we call art. Uh, so thanks everybody, have an amazing day. <laughs>